Good morning. My name is Derek Harrowwood. I am proud to be the superintendent of Hamilton Heights School Corporation. Today is Wednesday, August 17th, 2022. This is the 82nd version of the monthly update. Rodney Freeman's the man behind the camera with his magic box of stuff. And we are at the Hamilton Heights Huskies varsity football field. We're underneath the tunnel where the old concession stand is. Um, a couple times we've been upstairs in the press box and we've been out in the new entrance. Today, over my shoulder, Sprint Turf is working. They're installing the turf. We're hopeful that we'll be ready for the September 2nd, I believe, home opener for the for the Huskies. This crew has been all over the country installing this turf. Uh, they were in Hanover last week, Minnesota a couple weeks before that, and they come in and they are the pros at involving installing this turf so we're really happy that they're here uh, last night they were here until eight o'clock monday night they were until eight o'clock and they think they can get this all installed in 14 days it's a pretty intense project and, and, and intense process but these guys are the pros they do it better than anybody else so we're really excited about our turf project at the high school and hopefully we'll be ready to roll by september 2nd if we're not we're good with that we want to be done by september 2nd but if not we want it done right this turf will last us for the next 10 to 13 years and we want to make sure that we get it right the first time so thanks to sprint turf thanks to dory hosteller and krista mccarty for their leadership and the board supporting this project really excited about what we can do in our largest outdoor, out, outdoor classroom our largest classroom is outside where we can have soccer games here band practice here even football here our varsity football, JV football, everybody can use this field. PE will be using this field and it doesn't tear up. So we're really excited about that and looking forward to, to a great football season with Coach Kirshner and the boys. They think they're going to be pretty good, so we'll see. Uh, number one of the five things you need to know, I don't like to brag, but I often do, and I will quote the, the famous uh, American icon, Ricky Bobby, if you ain't first, you're last. However, in Hamilton County, our third graders had the second highest I read scores in Hamilton County this last year in the spring when they took those I read. That's third graders, they take a reading test, and we were way above the state average, only behind one other school in Hamilton County. We're pretty proud of that. We've, we've really worked hard at the elementary, working on our reading concepts and our reading procedures and how we teach reading. Proud of Julie Griffey and the elementary staff for their hard work. Second, it's not first but we're pretty proud of it. In Hamlin County, with some of the highest high read scores in the state, if not the country, we're second. We're aiming for first, maybe next year, but way to go, Hamilton Heights Elementary. Great job. Number two, I want to brag about a school board member, Arnett Cooper, is our longest serving current school board member. Um, he's running for re-election, but he has also um, just been awarded by the Indiana School Boards Association, the uh, exemplary level four exemplary distinction. I don't know exactly what that means, but he's like a ninja school board member. He's uh, done it for a long time. He's gone through a lot of training. Um, nobody loves Hampton Heights more than Mr. Cooper does. And he's got two Hampton Heights graduates, his kids, his wife Vicki is really active in the community do as well. So congratulations, Mr. Cooper. And we are very fortunate in Hampton Heights to have an outstanding school board that makes decisions that are best for kids, period. That's what they always focus their decisions on. And so we're really proud about that. We'll actually be meeting later today for several hours to look at future projects and facility upgrades that we can do to better enhance our experience for our students at Hampton Heights schools. Number three, we do this every year at this time. I'm going to introduce our new teachers. Uh, they're brand new. You can hear the Sprint Turf guys behind me working hard. Um, new teachers at the elementary school. Bruce Bubenzer is a kindergarten teacher. Caitlin Kincaid is a first grade teacher. Megan Kinney is a first grade teacher. Brittany Pearson, a new first grade teacher. Amanda Davis is a new special education teacher. I had Amanda Davis as the fifth grader at Stony Creek Elementary in Noblesville several years ago. Welcome. Welcome home, Amanda Davis. Lisa McDonald is another special education teacher and Kara Woodruff is our new speech, uh, speech and language teacher at the, at the elementary school. At the middle school, Bonnie Stites is a new math teacher. Samantha Rush is a new PE and health teacher. She also student taught for us last year, so she'll be a familiar face. Elizabeth Perry is a new sixth grade English language arts teacher. Marcy Williams is a new sixth grade science teacher. At the high school, Audrey Summers is a new social studies teacher. Caitlin Perry is a new social studies teacher. Kevin Sheets is a new construction teacher. Krista Shields and Emma Bergen are both new special education teachers. And in the corporation, Rebecca Nicholas is our new special education teacher. So Rodney's going to be flying pictures in behind me um, of their awesomeness. We're really proud of this crew. 
lots of experience in this team that we brought in. We're fortunate again to work with a school board and a business manager like Kristen McCarty that says hire the best ones you can find. We are still have two open positions that we look to fill. We're probably going to add a first grade teacher and we're going to add a science teacher at the middle school. Mr. Bailey and Mrs. Griffey are in the process of, of finishing that up. Um, number four, I want to talk a little bit about Jesse Cantlin and uh, Toby Etchison and Trisha Rudy. They presented at the Kiwanis, Cicero Kiwanis last week about a grief program that they're working on. Uh, Toby Etchison's um, Edge 21 Foundation helps support that. Uh, all of our counselors went through training at Brooks Place and it's a, it's a place that really focuses on youth grieving and we've got kids in our community that have struggled with some grieving processes of, through losses and so all of our counselors have a pretty specific program that they that we work with now K through 12 and Trisha and Jesse and, and Toby did a great job of presenting that to the to the, our Cicero Kiwanis last weekend and number five at tonight's board meeting we're going to brag about a, a lot of grants we've been getting lately we've been working hard to find find money to support programs that we're doing in Hampton Heights so one of the things we're going to talk about is a community uh, Hamilton County Community Foundation grant that's helping us with uh, fund an SEL a social emotional learning or support every learner uh, program Terry Miller is helping us with that and she coordinates our counselors and making sure we're speaking the same language and doing everything age appropriate for our kids uh, in terms of helping them with their social um, well-being so we're really we're excited about that we got a community uh, catalyst grant that's been a part Partnership with the Hamlet County Council on, on Alcohol and Other Drugs. That'll allow us to hire a homeschool liaison. We'll start looking for that person after the nice board meeting. We have a successful return to school grant. This is providing therapy for some of our kids who are coming out of COVID and really struggled coming back to a regular school setting. And so we're uh, using this money with parent permission to help fund some therapists to talk to our kids and help them work through um, some of those challenges of coming back to school. We get a grant to do some middle school and high school one-on-one -on -one tutoring that's working really well that'll start here in a couple weeks Marianne Haymaker through our youth assistance programs really helped us uh, get some of those things and again the Brooks Place grant where we partnered with the Edge 21 Foundation so some neat stuff going on at Hampton High School um, School Corporation really proud of the work that we're doing here my name is Derry Carroll and I'm proud to be the superintendent of Hampton High School Corporation make it a great day or not the choice is yours